Philippines gets hit by typhoons every year and has done for thousands of years. Um, is the number high uh, in 21 this year? Uh, it's on the upper bounds, and it's it's certainly uh, some concern. Uh, but you know, the, the year's not over yet. And this might not be the final one for the year. The Philippines is always going to be vulnerable to tropical cyclones. So it sits on the western edge of the Pacific. The Pacific is warming at a rate that's unprecedented, and that warmth generates very, very strong tropical cyclones. And so it's likely that our low-lying communities in places like the Philippines are going to be affected by cyclones going forward, um, and it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. Well, the tropics of Southeast Asia is really a hot spot of climate impacts. We've got changing rainfall patterns, we've got intensifying cyclones, we've got growing populations, particularly coastal populations that are going to be at risk. And so this is really uh, a hotbed of uh, where the activity is in terms of natural hazards uh, and impacts on people. Recent events uh, across the region show that there is an uptick in these typhoons. So it's something of serious concern as our oceans warm and climate change has more and more impacts on our communities. Uh, this is a very clear example that um, you know, these typhoons are likely to happen more in the future and more frequently, uh, and we need to keep people as safe as possible. Typhoons take their energy from the ocean. So as our oceans warm, there's more energy there for them to draw from and therefore they're becoming stronger in time. And so this is a concerning issue because we've got warming oceans uh, both in the Western Pacific and the South China Sea. That means that our cyclone systems are becoming more and more intense and their impacts are likely to be much larger.